a record number of people who are members of cooperative businesses that the money that's been made from them is falling. Steph's got more details for it. Yes, morning to you both. It's a mixed story, this, in terms of increased membership, but uh, falling revenues. Let me tell you a bit more about it. Morning, everyone. There are 15 million people who are part of a cooperative business. That's a business which is owned and managed by its members, and it often includes customers and workers who are members, too. Now, there are over 6,000 businesses which are run like this, and one of them is a renewable energy project in the Peak District. A company brought the idea of generating power from our rivers to our local community. An awful lot of folks from New Mills decided that they would prefer the community to benefit from any power generation rather than uh, a company from outside. The shareholders of our cooperative are just really clear that they want to see this project succeed. And although they're not earning interest on their shares at the moment, they're happy to support us through the development of this project while we pay the loan off and they will take their interest as and when we become profitable. So one example of a cooperative there. Well, membership of cooperatives, as I said, is increasing, but the money being made by them is falling down 3% to about 37 billion a year. Well, with me is Ed Mill, Secretary General of the Trade Body that represents Corps. Good morning to you, Good Ed. morning, sir. So just tell us what the story is here. So more people, members, but they're, not, they're struggling to make as much money. Uh, yes, it's the first um, blip in financial terms for uh, probably two, two decades. Overall, turnover is 15% up over the last five years. Years. Uh, but the number of people involved, so there's a members, there's also member owners, and that's the remarkable thing about cooperatives is that the ownership is shared um, amongst those in the business. So 15 million people uh, are owners now of cooperatives in the UK, and that's something to celebrate. Uh, and why is it that, uh, that the turnover is down? Do you think why, why have we had this financial blip? Well, we've seen a, um, a year of kind of rebuilding and stabilisation at the largest uh, consumer cooperative, the cooperative group. Uh, the underlying performance, so that coming through from smaller and medium-sized cooperatives, uh, is very healthy. But we've seen a shift out of the cooperative sector figures, uh, for example, of the cooperative bank, which has been recapitalized. So it now operates with strong values, but on a different footing. It must be a bit of a nightmare, the cooperative group being called the cooperative group, because essentially when you're dealing with lots of cooperative, other types of cooperative businesses, everyone thinks it's part of the same one. It's, I think it's part of the, the sort of history, really, of the cooperative sector that has always been about thousands of enterprises, often started locally, but everybody talks about the co-op. It's, you know, it's taking cooperation as if actually it was one enterprise, but of course it's not. Uh, as you said, it's over 6,000 independent businesses uh, right across the UK. If you travel around, if you travel to Edinburgh, um, people think of the co-op, and that's, in fact, the Edinburgh Bicycle Cooperative, which is employee-owned worker cooperative. So it means different things. But the cooperative, cooperative food, uh, is often the largest consumer cooperative, the cooperative group, yes. So give us some examples of the most successful cooperatives then that we might not necessarily know about. Well, the, 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 the growth is coming in new sectors. So we're seeing quite a lot of renewable energy cooperatives, such as the one in the Peak District that uh, you showed, which is a really inspiring story of communities wanting to chart a future with locally owned uh, renewable energy. Uh, in Lewis, in Sussex, uh, uh, the local cooperatives formed to put solar PV panels on the roof of the local breweries. How good is that? Local beer and local energy at the same time. But in other sectors, health and social care, so areas where the cooperative model does well is often about uh, relationships, uh, where you've got long-term relationships with people, you can form commitments, uh, that growing, and education, the growth of cooperative schools, particularly uh, in England. Okay, uh, well, thank you very much for telling us about that. Uh, that's it for me.